Philip Schofield cut a dapper figure on Sunday as he joined stars at Silverstone's British Grand Prix. The broadcaster, 60, donned a navy blazer and shades for the event, a day after he attended London's Pride celebrations, his first since coming out as gay in 2020. Philip layered the jacket over a pink and white gingham shirt which he then tucked into a pair of skinny black jeans. Slipping his feet into dark Chelsea boots that this morning host shielded his eyes behind the designer aviator shades. His silver locks swept to one side Philip carried his belongings in a black backpack as his VIP credentials hung on the lanyard around his neck. Beaming for the cameras the star rubbed shoulders with celebrities and race car drivers in the paddocks, posing for selfies with fans before the race got underway. It comes after Philip attended his first Pride celebration as a proud gay man, after the event returned for the first time following the COVID pandemic. The star, who has been married to his wife Steph since 1993, came out in February 2020, appearing on the ITV show to discuss his news with his co-host and best friend Holly Willoughby, during which he broke down in tears. Phil, who is father to daughters Molly and Ruby, was joined on Saturday by Dane Kelly Holmes who has also come out and said it was her first ever LGBT plus event. The parade, which marked the historic 50th anniversary of the UK's first parade in London, was also attended by Alison Hammond, Lorraine Kelly and stylish Gok Wynn. Mr. Schofield was also seen on her Instagram live making the heart sign to the crowd of over 600 LGBT plus groups who joined the march, the first event to be held since the pandemic began. Float Slend Park Lane as revelers were seen wearing face paint, glitter, jewels and sequins as they walked from Hyde Park Corner to Whitehall, while paying homage to the original 1972 march, which 2,000 people attended. Organizers are calling it the biggest and most inclusive event in history but it has faced criticism in recent years from one of the original marchers. LGBT plus rights activist and human rights campaigner Peter Tatchell said it's become too corporate and commercial and not focused enough on politics. His Gay Liberation Front GLF, led the parade holding placards saying I was there in 1972 and that they are still fighting for global LGBT plus freedom. Also performing on the day were pop star Ava Max, Emily Sande, Eurovision winner Netta, Samantha Moonga, and Kat Graham. Singer Miss Sande, who said in April she was in a relationship with classical pianist Joanna Karmuva, posted a story on her Instagram which showed her and her partner on their way to soundcheck.